Madam? Mr. Fry? Ready to take the air? Devil's Acre should just be coming alive. I am afraid I must cancel our engagement. The lawn is crawling with scandal-hunting journalists, and I simply cannot be seen in the company of someone so... I'll see them off. You follow along when it's clear. Yes, yes. Uh, be gentle, won't you? The press are notoriously touchy about any violence to their person. Ha, 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 ha. I'll barely ruffle a hair on their heads. <laughs> Shh, Desmond. That's yours, if you can get those chaps over there to follow me. Right you are, sir. Blimey! Look! It's Squire Bancroft! Best lead them astray before they turn me to shreds. Mr. Bancroft! Mr. Bancroft! Steady on. Doing fine. In the dark, it's the Prime Easy. Minister's wife. Easy. I really must not be seen here, Mr. Fry. Devil's Acre has to offer. Is your dog quite all right? Oh, Desmond's fine. He's just not over fond of strangers. Or cats. We were trying to avoid attention. Do you know this gentleman is a... Oh, what was it? Yes. A costermonger. Of all things. Remarkable how the working classes occupy themselves. Very industrious, I'm sure. Shall we go? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have no earthly idea what you're talking about. <clears throat> Mrs. Disraeli. Everything all right? Oh, yes. 
I've just learned to whistle. Right. That man is drunk. I expect you're right, madam. I'm going to ask what he's having. Perhaps you'd let me recommend something instead. Mr. Fry, I'm fully aware of what they're doing. God bless them. This one's brown bread. What sort of meat is that man selling? Best not to ask. Why? Is it something dreadful? <gasps> is it rat? I don't mean to be indelicate, given the present company, but another name for it is Bow Wow Mutton. Here we are, the old one-ton pub. Best... So, this is a pint, is it? Huh? <laughs> Remarkable. <sighs> nice doggy. Mm. Desmond, hand over the mutt. You'll change your tune when me and my friends find you. Now then, Desmond, to get you back to your mistress, whom I've just left entirely unattended in one of London's most dangerous pubs. Well, if you never told your father how you felt about him, how was he supposed to know? I never thought of it that way. I suppose deep down we all just want to be loved. Just so. Mm. Here, have a sweetie. Oh, Desmond and Mr. Fry, I'd like you to meet... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. John the Tosser. Charmed. I think we'd better get you home. Right you are, Mr. Fry. Come along, Desmond. <laughs> well, 
Well, well, well. If it isn't the dog walker. <laughs> now, let's not do something we'll regret. That's the way. Well, I must thank you for a most energetic and enlightening evening, Mr. Fry. No, thank you, madam. Perhaps now you might tell me about the man in the Hussars. Quite right. Lord Cardigan is the gentleman you seek. Tiresome. Always blathering on about his military adventures. Do you know where I might find him for a private conversation? I do indeed. He's in town now, as it happens, campaigning against the corrupt practices bill. Yeah. Perhaps you could catch him in the Palace of Westminster. Oh, do be careful. No yeah. government could ill afford another scam. I assure you, I'll be very discreet. <laughs> Slow down now. Your stop, madam. My stop? <laughs> How delightful. Thank you. Thank you for a splendid evening, Mr. Fry. I shall be sure to speak highly of you to Dizzy. <laughs> oh, yes. Walk on, girl. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Easy now. Who's a good horse? You are. What's this nonsense about needing a password to see Lord Cardigan today? Relax. I've got it in my pocket. Look sharp, men. Allow no one past unless I authorize them. Cardigan has gone too far this time. I've a mind to contact Scotland Yard myself. Come now, gentlemen. I thought us united in opposition against this perfidious law.
Begging your pardon, my Two lord. You do not have the it's time for your meeting with Lieutenant here. Pitts. Eh? Ah! Yes! Yes! Pitts! Password? Of course. Um. Baby ah. Apple. Piss off. <laughs>
something. City people display bowled me over like a skittle. Password. Balaclava. Come in. Ah. Now then, <clears throat> let's discuss this like je Good God! Who the bloody hell- Oh, shut up. should fall not on the glory fields of Crimea, but to an assassin's blade in the very halls of power. Are you finished yet? Take your bow, knave, for you have managed what no Russian battery, what no Indian tiger could achieve. Claim your trophy, and may you choke on it. Yes, but do tell me more about Balaclava. Farewell. Farewell, dear Britannia! Your dawn shall be dimmer that the Earl of Cardigan sees it not. God save the Queen and the Eleventh Hussars! What a prick.
You okay? Apart from the death squad on our tail, apart from that. Backup's on the way. Why are you pushing yourself so hard? It's not your job to fight Templars. I had this colleague. He was our boss's son. I didn't much care for him at the start. Everyone treated him like he was so bloody special. To me, he just wasn't invested in, in, in anything that didn't affect him personally. But I was wrong about him. He became my friend, put himself through hell, and he saved us all in the end. So I reckon, well, I can't apologize to him, but I can, I don't know, I can try and live up to his example. You are a good assassin. Holy jeez! Hello. It has been too long. Galena! Blimey, I have not seen you since we blew up that lab in Paris. Uh, there were many explosions and you screamed like a baby. Bishop tells me Otso Berg is here. I will kill him for you. Super. Great news. Now, if you wouldn't mind keeping watch, I am going to lie down and die now. Rest. We have a big fight coming. Sean and Rebecca are safe for now, but we're still relying on you to find us that shroud. A letter. For me?